Hey everybody, I uh, was about to do a bunch of cleanup and uh, I thought, well, I better check this before I start clipping all the ends. Like I got all those plug ends on the wire harnesses that come out of washing machines, um, air conditioner, everything. Basically, they got these wire harnesses in there. And uh, I've always cut the ends off and then I was like, well, I get 94 cents a pound for the wire with the plug ends on or $1.72 with them off, I better check, make sure, you know, like it's worth taking the time to cut all the ends off. For all I know, it's kind of like Romex where you end up losing money. But anyways, I'm going to uh, go through all of that right now and, uh, you know, we'll see, see what we come up with. 2.46 pounds. Thirty nine point three six ounces. One point one one six kilograms. So these are going to be uh this would go as number three insulated copper plug wire thirty five percent ninety four cents a pound. And if I clean it up, I'm going to get number two insulated copper wire, 50%, a dollar seventy-two a pound. So let's clip the ends and see if this is going to be worth it. Yeah, all right, I sped this up to 20 times just to get through it, but the total time was 13 minutes and 20 seconds. That's quite a while. Um, to I don't know if I have to clip all of the uh, uh, zip ties off or not, but I did. I assume I have to because it's, you know, it's just extra plastic. But anyways, we'll go over the numbers after. I just, uh, from from doing this, I don't think it's worth doing. I'm probably going to stop doing it because I need to get stuff cleaned up and this isn't helping me get things cleaned up. Okay. There's all the wire. We'll get it in the bucket. So we have 918 grams, 2.024 pounds. I'll have to do the math. I don't remember what it was before, but anyways, I'll put it all up on the screen there. Oh, boo. This was supposed to be recording the audio with the uh, screen record. So. But anyways... So this two dollars $2 and or two point four six pounds ninety four cents a pound uh, is what my uh, what I get for the plugs on two dollars and thirty one cents, which you know not uh, not fantastic, but I mean whatever. And then this is after it's cleaned up, and we get one dollar seventy two a pound. So $3.48. So that gives us a grand total of, wait for it. <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> I type very slowly. I was actually talking through this whole thing. So $1.17. So, $1 so I made $1.17 in 13 minutes and 20 seconds. So less than $5 an hour. Or right around five dollars an hour, not very good. I'm going. I'm just not going to be doing any of these again. They'll just be going in a, a huge bucket of plug end wires. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to have to look into the uh, cost effectiveness of even separating the wiring out of the machines because, you know, that probably takes me 20 minutes to get all that stuff out of these machines like to take them down enough to get it out of there and uh if i'm the you know the most i can make is three dollars and 48 cents that's still not very good i just uh i just like getting the um you know separating the stuff out because that's kind of why i'm doing all this but anyways i'll have to look at that later yeah so i don't know it, it it is what it is like you know I, I got into recycling to um well to recycle and try and put things in their proper stream but uh, i know from talking to mclean at uh at the scrapyard that even if i send this into shred when it gets to the other end 
it's going to be shredded and then they separate the metals out. He said they get about 70 to 75 percent of the metals out of the out of the shred and uh, plastic and everything goes to be burned for uh, fuel, I guess, to create more energy or whatever it is they're doing. But I assume that they're uh, trying to utilize everything that they can. Anyway, so, oh, I, right now I, I've got the time to, to separate the stuff out, but if it comes to a point where I, uh, you know, I have to take time out of my uh, busy day to, to get this wiring and stuff out, I'll have to look at just not getting it out. Anyhow, it is what it is. We got to do what we can do. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't get into recycling for the money. Um, you know, I, it's nice if you can get some money to, to help out. But I mean, it's, uh, I started scrapping for a little bit of extra money. And then uh, when I started scrapping, I saw how, you know, horrible the uh, recycling stream was in our area. And then I was like, well, maybe there's something that I can do about it. Uh, because you know you you got to try and uh, help your community out you got to try and uh, make the world around you a better place and um, everything can't be money although you know I could, re I could really use some money but um, that's what I've got my job for if it ever comes to where this can be my actual job then um, you know that would be great but I just can't see it uh the, there's just not enough in small scale recycling to make it really profitable. Uh, if at some point we can get like government grants or something, that is uh, something we could look at where, you know, maybe it would pay enough that I could uh, do this and, and actually have a recycling center. But as of right now, it, this is just still going to be a sideline and, uh, you know, hopefully I can keep it going. Anyhow, everybody take care and, uh, I believe this is the first time I'm going to say this, but I'd appreciate it if you liked the video, if you could subscribe and uh, maybe share it with your friends. If you didn't like the video, tell me why. Why didn't you like it? Is it because I didn't brush my hair? I'm really sorry. I just, that's not things that I think about. <laughs>